Okay guys, so in the last video tutorial we created our Lightroom catalog file that we're going to be using for this tutorial series. So I want you guys to open that up. We saved ours as the desktop. If you did the same, just click on it, open it up. I put mine into a subfolder in that uh, folder and then also make sure at this point that you have either the JPEGs or the RAW files for the, the exercise files. You can download them on this article. Um, we're going to be using them and importing those or just make sure you guys have a set of files that you guys can work on while we're uh, working through this series. So either one is fine. Uh, I'm going to click into my tutorial catalog and then double click to open. Alright, so before we get into the import window, I want to show you guys what files Lightroom actually supports. And to do this, I'm, I went to Google, I just typed in support Lightroom files. If you guys have, ever have any questions on this, it'll take you right to the second page right here that says Adobe Photoshop Lightroom 3 file formats. It'll tell you each one. Um, so basically, it, it supports all RAW formats. Um, now, a quick note about RAW formats is that every single camera that comes out uh, each raw format is, is being changed with not not only between camera brands but also between camera models so if you find that you're trying to import off of a relatively new camera and Lightroom says that these files are damaged or not supported most likely it's because you need to update Lightroom so that you have the latest um, camera raw uh, format supported in Lightroom um, you may also need to update Adobe Camera Raw which you can do so as well just type in update Adobe Camera Raw into Google it'll take you to the appropriate page that you need to to download the new camera raw files. Okay, the next thing is it sports DNG files. That's the digital negative format that we talked about earlier. It sports TIFFs. Um, it sports JPEGs, Photoshop format PSDs. It does support CMYK files, but the thing with CMYK is that all your adjustments and the output uh, output is is being done in RGB space. So if you actually need CMYK support, uh, you want to edit in a CMYK workspace and then output in that same workspace. You need to um, work in Photoshop. Okay, the only exceptions are really things that aren't going to be that useful. I mean, PNGs, you may have PNGs stored somewhere that you want to bring in the Lightroom, but that's not a big deal. Um, you can convert those back to JPEG or use the original JPEG files. Illustrator files aren't supported. And then basically any files that have huge dimensions, greater than 512 megapixels basically, which I've never seen anybody have the need to you know, enlarge a photo up to that size before. So pretty much everything we need is supported. So let's get back into Lightroom. I want to give you guys a quick once over on the importing basics just on the on the window itself okay so make sure you're in the library module we're gonna go to import alright so I know there's a lot of options in this import dialog box so I want you guys to think about it in a more simple and intuitive way on this left side all we're doing is selecting a source we're just selecting where the images are coming from in the middle we're gonna see the images that we're selecting and we're gonna to have to apply an action of what to do with those images whether we want to copy them move them add them or copy them as a DNG each one of these is going to do something different and on the right side we're just going to choose our location of where we want those images to go as well as set up some uh, different import options on the right side okay so let's start by selecting the actual folder and what we're going to do is we're going to select the folder where the raw files were included now we put ours on the desktop and if you guys have this window up and you see like all these different folders and you may not know how to quickly get to your desktop like let's say it's more like this well it's kinda of hard to find the desktop folder so just click up in source and hit desktop it'll automatically take you to the desktop folder okay now we have the Lightroom tutorial catalog and the raw files okay so now we're seeing all the images that are in that raw folder now you guys can be using the JPEGs or the RAWs either one um, don't import both because we only need one set alright so you, so you should be seeing everything that's in your raw folder or your JPEG folder we're gonna do one or the other you don't need to import both and I wanted to show you guys that this little working space right here kinda works the same way as the library view so we we're in thumbnail view right now which we can increase our thumbnail size by hitting plus or minus or we can use this little slider right here as well okay we can also switch from grid view to loop view the same way we would in the library module by hitting E for loop or grid for uh, G for grid okay now anything that is checked off right here is what's going to be imported into Lightroom um, oh by the way on the on the E for loop and G for grid you can also click those right here so here's grid here's loop so if I click these buttons right there it'll do the same thing so whatever's checked here is going to be imported into our our catalog file whatever destination we set um, if I want to uncheck everything I can hit this button if I want to check everything I can hit this button likewise I can also click all photos and click it again to bring it all back okay and in the windows you can actually do the same thing you would in windows where if you're holding down shift you can select a sequence of photos you can check or uncheck a sequence or if you want to just 
cherry pick certain files, you can hold down control to choose files out of sequence and then once again check and uncheck. Whoops, I double clicked so that zoomed in. Okay, so let's go into the next video where we're going to go over the details of the uh, action settings as far as copying, moving, adding, as well as the import options on the right side.